Hey guys, I'm Reza Arsham with the Go Gear Racing. Here we have our 2018 Honda Civic Type R. I'm here at the Koenig Wheels booth at SEMA 2022. I'm just gonna give you guys a little quick walk around about the car. So under the hood, we got the stock two liter four cylinder turbocharged engine that you, uh, you would get here. Uh, stock internal, stock motor. When we do touring car racing, we want to keep things nice and simple. But you'll look here, it doesn't look like a stock engine bay. So, first of all, we have our APR cooling plates. These come from APR. We actually have a lot of components from APR. These are kind of an OEM replacement uh, for the center one, and they go across the fenders. Heat management is very huge on these, on these engines. Additionally, the next thing you'll notice is the Aventuri parts. So we have the carbon charge pipe and the intake as well as the uh, engine cover. So that's awesome for a show car like this. Uh, moving on to suspension. In underneath the hood over here, we got three-way JRZ adjustable coilovers as well as the PRL Motorsports a, uh, strut tower bar. So those are, you know, the JRZs are excellent. We use them in all our cars as well as the strut tower bar just to keep the, the front end really rigid. Additionally here, Radium was a great sponsor of this build. We have the uh, catch cans as well as the expansion tank. So really quality products. The metal replaces the plastic on there so we don't have to worry about anything cracking or breaking. And then finally, we have the Hasport engine mounts. Those you can't go without on a race car. We use Hasport engine mounts on all our Hondas. They're, they're the only one. There's a lot of cheap alternatives, but you got to run the Hasport engine mounts. Uh, next up in turbo, so we're running the stock turbo. We have a CSF radiator, which is through full race. So we have the full race intercooler as well as all of their cooling products. And they're really the turbo experts. So they know what they're doing on the turbo charging there. Uh, additionally, we're running uh, Acuity cross flow radiator lines. So those will give us a couple extra degrees for heat management. And then we also have a rear mounted radiator that we'll go and take a look at in a little bit. So let's uh, move around to the other side of the car and we'll, we'll continue there. Uh, moving on to the side of the car, we have our wheel tire suspension brake setup. So obviously we have Koenig Heliograms 18 by 9.5 plus 35. Uh, if you've been in the world of Hondas and, and Honda Civics, especially the, the Type R here, you know that offset is huge on these cars. They're really unique high offsets, so Koenig makes a, a specific wheel now that is brand new for this year and it works perfectly with the right offset we need on the 9.5s. Uh, for tires, we run the spec tire. These are Hankook F200 slicks. These are 200 660, I think, 18-inch uh, wheels, so 18-inch tire. And then we'll also see the brand new product for, for this year. They came out with it a couple months ago. These are K-Tune brakes, so K-Tune calipers and rotors. Stock replacement, they come with braided lines, and they're really excellent parts. They're a little bit larger, and actually the best part about the K-Tune part is if you've ever picked up a uh, FK8 uh, rotor, you know how heavy they are. So these are much lighter, and they're excellent for the racing application. Okay, let's walk down to the rear of the car where there's also lots of exciting technology back here. Again, you have our square setup, so we're running 18 9.5s, 260s all the way around. Uh, we might actually upgrade to their 10-inch wheels from Koenig. They, uh, we'll see how this works. I think they'll fit under the stock body. Uh, we're using stock side skirts for now. You know, we don't have any, uh, any arrow on the side of the car yet, but we come around here. This is our APR wing. So like I mentioned, they had the cooling plates. This is their wing, 67 inches wide. We actually got the larger uh, from, uh, end plates from the Swan neck. So huge wing. Uh, we'll see how much we need that. Obviously the front drive car, a lot of people think you don't need a wing on a front drive car, but uh, it really helps set up the balance of the car. Moving around this way, again, you'll see in the rear, we have a Varus engineering rear diffuser. So this is a, another part of the aero package of this car. We want a lot of rear downforce without a lot of uh, drag, and that's what a diffuser will get you. Uh, moving on, I guess, to the inside of the car here. So with the inside of the car, we have a ultra tight cage from cagekiss.com. Uh, they're a great sponsor of the build, and they primarily make drift cages, but actually they had a scan for the FK8, and let me tell you, this cage fits awesome. I mean, I, it's, having done a lot of race cars and stuff before, this is the tightest fitting cage, and it's a beautiful cage. You have to actually see, see the cage in person to really appreciate the quality of the cage. Okay, let's go to the inside of the car here. This is, the, uh, this is where all the magic happens. We'll get in here. So, obviously we have all the, uh, the Sparco safety devices. So we have the seat belts, the seats, obviously with the halo, steering wheel from Sparco as well. They make excellent products and we use them in all our cars. Uh, you also notice the Acuity shifter. So this is excellent. 
Uh, what I really like about uh, aftermarket shifters, especially Acuity, is they're fully adjustable. So you can adjust the throw and the sideways motion independently. Uh, it's bolted up to the stock transmission for now, so we're gonna have an upgraded CAS limited slip unit, as well as the spec clutch in there, just to keep uh, make the gear shifts really quick and easy, and with the limited slip, that helps drive the car around. As far as gauges and stuff right now, we actually have a P3 vent gauge over here, really small, discreet, it plugs nobody to, it'll do boost gauges and everything like that. We're using the stock cluster, uh, and we also have a scan gauge unit. This is their new scan gauge three unit, uh, which plugs into OBD2, gives you all sorts of data acquisition and all that. A couple different switch panels uh, for operating various things like the radio, headlights, wipers, uh, wirelessly. Obviously we have a detachable steering wheel. This is from Works Bell. They make excellent hub and uh, button relocation. So when you're not using the stock steering wheel, you can relocate the stock buttons as well as the, uh, the quick release. So this is awesome, great unit here. Clicks in, very firm, very steady. Uh, Honda, obviously, to tune the car, we have their Flash Pro unit. Uh, there's really no other al alternative other than using the Honda unit in here. Other than that, I mean, you can uh, notice the lack of a cage in, in the shot. Be that's because the cage is all tucked away, hidden. Uh, it doesn't really get in the way too much. So we have a stock dash, everything like that. Uh, and really in here, it's all about being very driver focused and working to the best of our ability so that when you're out there on the track, you have great visibility, you don't have to worry about anything, and you have great systems to give you early notices if anything's wrong. So getting out of the car here, perfect. We'll, uh, we'll close up this hood, the Saibon hood, obviously. Uh, it's uh, lighter weight than the stock hood and who doesn't like a little bit of carbon fiber? So this has been the car. Uh, it's uh, gonna run in the United States Touring Car Championship in the Super Touring class. And uh, follow us on Instagram. You have my personal Instagram, at Reza Arsham, as well as the GoGo -Go Gear Racing Instagram uh, and USDCC. You can see us on NBC Sports as well for the TV show. So check out Koenig, check out everybody, and if you're interested, get involved. <laughs>